What's up y'all, Riley here, and today I'm installing a Molly panel above the factory radio in my Ford F-250. This panel's from Built Right Industries. It's a pretty great company with a lot of products for a variety of different trucks if you wanna check them out. Um, this video is not sponsored, I bought this product, but it seems really high quality, I'm excited to get it installed. This is the first piece of a larger switch system project that I'm doing. My truck didn't come with the upfitter switches from the factory, so I'm going aftermarket and I'm gonna take you on that journey as I install the various products I'm gonna be using to get switches up and running in this truck. So let's get into this installation. Included in the box are the panel itself, some stickers and whatnot, a little bag of hardware, and then because I upgraded to the uh, Pro model, this is a little panel that's going to go underneath um, so this will bolt in to that and just add some additional like lateral stability so that this isn't just relying on the uh, plastic of the dash. So I'll show you how all that works. You'll notice that there are no instructions in the box. So BuiltRight does have good instructions on their website. I do wish that it was um, printed and in the box but it's not. So we're going to just utilize their online resources to get this project done. First things first, we need to take this speaker cover off. If your truck comes equipped with a center speaker, it should be pretty simple to remove. They're just spring-loaded clips in each of the four corners. So if you have a trim removal tool, just go ahead and use it. If you need to use a screwdriver, I recommend just using a microfiber cloth or something to protect the surfaces that you will be prying against. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this little speaker cover popped off. With the plastic cover off, you're gonna to wanna to use a seven millimeter socket to remove the two um, bolts that are in there holding this assembly together. I don't have a seven millimeter socket, so I'm gonna to have to use a wrench and just kind of finagle them out. I think it'll be fine. They're not in there very tight. So I'm gonna struggle on camera and you can watch and learn from my mistake. Okay, with those screws removed, we now have to pry up on the entirety of the tray. And then before we take the tray out, um, we want to unplug the speaker if your truck has it. So you wanna pry up on the front of the tray, that's where the clips are. They're the same clips uh, that were in the speaker cover. So they're kind of annoying, but again, just make sure you don't mar your dash up. All right, now here comes the fun part. You're going to go ahead and take this liner out of the tray, it's just held in there by gravity, set that aside. You'll notice that the tray actually slopes towards the driver. The built right panel is also sloped so that it sits totally flat once it's in there. What you wanna do now is position it where you want it, and there's a little bit of flexibility here as you can see. Once you get it positioned, you're going to mark the holes where you're gonna be mounting this and you're going to be drilling those holes out. So I'm gonna go ahead and position mine and mark it with this little paint pen. You can use permanent marker, whatever you want. And um, then we're gonna start drilling. One thing to note that in addition to being sloped towards the driver, the tray itself is actually angled slightly towards the driver. So you'll see that the marks I made are not entirely centered. That's because I'm trying to align the lip of the panel to be even all the way across. So that's how I did mine. You can do yours however you want. You can angle it a little bit towards the driver, have it set back. There's options here. I just went with what I um, thought I would, might prefer. As always with this kind of stuff, you're gonna wanna start with a drill bit that is smaller than your final hole size. The final hole size in this case is quarter inch. So I'm starting much smaller than that. I'm gonna work my way up. 
If you're doing this in a cold climate, this is especially important if you even decide to do it when it's that cold outside because the plastic can get brittle and you could end up cracking the tray. So always start small and if possible, wait for a little bit warmer weather. I'm gonna start by just drilling out this hole so that I can make sure that my others are aligned properly. And then I'll do that one or two more times as I get the holes drilled out, um, just to ensure that my plate is aligned where I want it to be. This is the final bit size. This is the quarter inch. If we can get that to focus. Um, anyway, we're going to finish this out. All right, so there's our first hole. We're gonna go ahead and test fit the panel um, just to make sure everything's aligned properly. All right, I test fit it. Um, it looks good. I made a minor adjustment to where this second back hole is um, just because I want it to line up flush with the front, as I mentioned. So I'm being a little extra cautious. Again, there is a little bit of play once you get these holes drilled. So don't feel like you have to get it perfect. This is just me going above and beyond because I have problems. So let's get this second back hole drilled and then we can move on to the front ones. All right, with those first two holes drilled, let's go ahead and show you what it looks like with this test fit so you can see what I'm working with. And we can decide if we're ready to drill out those front holes or if we need to make any adjustments. So I'm just using the supplied hardware. I'm just gonna slip it into both of these holes I just drilled. And I'll show you, even with those bolts in there, there's a little bit of play. So there is, there is an opportunity to make some more adjustments before you're done completely. Um, as you can see, I want it about right there so that it's even all the way across. I let go, I'm a little bit off. So I will adjust those bottom screws just a little bit, um, but I'm pretty happy with that. So let's get this thing done. You'll notice that these front holes are gonna be harder to drill out just because of this significant lip in the front of this tray. I have a handy dandy attachment to extend the drill um, and make it a little easier, but just take your time, you'll be all right. It's, it's really not that big of a deal. All right, that's what we're looking at with three of the bolts installed. That looks pretty darn perfect to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill out that last hole. So there you have it. There are four holes, as you can see, they're not perfectly even side to side. That's because this tray is not perfectly even side to side. You'll definitely notice that once you start doing the project. I'm gonna show you both ways to mount up this built right um, panel for your F250. Um, it comes with just the panel and then your hardware, which is four bolts, four washers, and um, for lock nuts. Now, Bill Ray says this is fine, that you can just rely on the tray. It is pretty thick, so I believe that it would be fine. However, if you get the pro version, you get this little bracket that goes underneath, so you actually bolt to this. So if you're not using the bracket, you just go bolt through the panel and the tray, and then on the underside, it would be your washer and your lock nut. If you are using the panel, 
you're gonna you go pull through the panel and the tray then this little uh, additional piece for added stability your washer and your lock nut so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I am using this so there's one extra step there but the process is pretty much the same With all the hardware loosely installed, you can tell that there is still some play. So you do have an opportunity once all those things are installed to adjust this before you tighten it down. That being said, I'm pretty happy with how it's sitting. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten it down as is. And then we will get this thing back in the truck. Little pro tip, it looks like it is an eight millimeter nut and a three millimeter um, Allen head wrench. So, with that in mind, tighten them down and then we will get to the next step. Just thought I should mention that. All right, we're back in the truck and I just wanted to mention this little liner that you took out of your tray. You can trim this to fit or you can set it aside and just keep it in case you ever remove the built right panel, sell the truck, whatever it is. I'm gonna opt for the latter. I'm gonna just store this somewhere safe. I don't think that the tray needs it. You're never gonna see it and um, I don't feel like trimming it. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set it aside and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the tray back where it belongs. A couple things to note, you're gonna want to make sure you get that speaker plugged back in if your truck is equipped with it. And then you're gonna wanna make sure that all the clips in the front of the tray snap into place. You should be able to hear and feel that. Um, and then I'm going to use my um, wrench to put those screws back in, but you'll watch all that. So I'll stop chit-chatting and get back to it. So there you have it, it's a pretty easy install. One thing I should mention, the built right directions say that there are three spring-loaded clips on the front of the tray. Um, when I pulled mine out, I actually saw two clips and they weren't spring-loaded, they were just needed to be pushed back, unless I broke them off, which is very possible. Now they're somewhere in the abyss of my truck. But as far as I could tell, they were actually just nested in the front. You just have to push it back while you lift up and they come out. Um, otherwise, the instructions were spot on. I made life harder on myself by not having that 7mm socket. So if you don't have a small socket set, you might want to pick one up before you do this. But all things said, it worked out really well and I'm excited to put this thing to use. Um, comment down below what you think about this product, if you've used Built Right products in the past, or if you're using an alternative to mount your switches. Um, I hope you'll catch me on the next one as I continue this series on getting our truck up and running as far as switches for our accessories go. Um, until the next one, I'll see you.